Hey family, welcome to A Haunted House. I'm Star, and in this video, I am going to show you how I plant my patio vegetable garden. I have chosen some vegetables and a fruit that we eat regularly. So we are about to start our garden. Now that it is March and it's nice outside, it's the perfect time to start planting some herbs and vegetables. So I'm gonna show you how we do it. So stay tuned. If you have not done so already, subscribe to the channel below for more home inspiration and home decor videos and some DIY and like this video and also leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think of my garden i'll be sure to keep you all posted along the way as my garden continues to grow and expand so let's jump into the video i purchased the planter stand off of amazon we were going to build one because you know we love to diy stuff but we decided instead to just go ahead and purchase one because it was super affordable. So I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Okay, so here's what it looks like put together. So it has space for hanging and it also has two shelves. I purchased these hanging pots from Amazon. Here are my plants. Let me tell you what we have here. So here are my, my broccoli plants. I have a very small one and I have one that has grown a little bit. I have my ghost pepper plant there and also my scotch bonnet pepper plant. One thing you should know about me is that I love extremely spicy food and it's very hard to find unique peppers. I have not found a store in Georgia yet that sells scotch bonnet peppers, so I decided to buy my own. I found a seller on Etsy. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Here uh, is our collard greens. We are going to plant those. Also, we have our Italian parsley and also our rosemary we also have here our cabbage so we have two types of cabbage here and we also have a strawberry plant i'm very excited about this my next door neighbor has planted strawberries and he said his came out bitter so we'll see how ours do um and we also have spinach as well as chives and a mint plant basil so yeah that's all for our vegetable garden i also bought these wondering jewel plants these aren't for my garden i just bought those to hang um but let me show you how i plant everything i'm going to start by filling my pots with potting soil um, i'm going to add um they all have draining holes i'm going to put a coffee filter inside the bottom of all of these um, so that the, the so that the soil won't drain through the hole and then I'll fill it with potting soil before I fill my pots for my plate. Now I'm about to place the plants inside of the pots. I am grouping most of them by twos, especially like the herbs. They, they don't need a pot of their own, they can grow together. Um, and like plants. And then for the cabbage and the collard greens that grow big, they have their own that grow big, they have their own pot, um, and they also have a bigger pot as well that I'm going to hang. So I'm about to do that, and I'll show you that.
Okay, so now I'm just gonna top all of the pots off with more potting soil before I put them on the inner stand back here. It's getting dark. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and do this so that I can run out. These plants look a little thirsty. That's because they have been sitting out in the sun. I definitely gave them a drink of water after I got done repotting them. And here is how our starter garden turned out. I will definitely have to keep you all updated as our vegetables grow and as we have to expand our garden. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you have not done so already. Stay tuned for more home inspiration and home decor videos. And until next time, love star.